We're here under the bridge today with Daryl Roberts at the Live 2540 mm -hmm. store. You and got it. and I wanted to interview him a little bit and share what his, he's doing and what this organization is doing for children in Africa. Tell me a little bit about mm -hmm. what's happening right now, what your needs are. Tell me a lot, actually. We're currently building a hospital, a pediatric, pediatric facility uh, out in out in the bush, yeah, uh, in a remote area where there's really very little access to quality health care, um, in a location where there's a there's a dense population, uh, there's immense poverty, um, there is significant uh, starvation, mm -hmm. um, malaria is a constant battle. Uh, they don't have the the finances uh, to. Uh, pay for medicine. Uh, they don't have the the resources to pay for transportation to the city where they might be able to receive care. Mm -hmm. uh, and once they get to the city, they have to pay for care, and that's not an option right. either. So that's our that's right now. That's our largest project. Um, it's an eighteen thousand square foot facility. So this year, by the end of the year, I think we will, if current. Uh, uh, traffic remains constant through the end of the year. It'll be around 15,600 children uh, that w we will have treated at that at that location. Um, mm. That's not even complete yet. So um, once it's finished, um, you know we project that uh, that number will probably double um, because right now we're having to do just outpatient only. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have once it's finished, we'll have inpatient. We'll have delivery, we'll have a surgical theater, uh, they will come. They will come. What is the biggest thing people can do? You know, us here locally in Bartow County mm -hmm. know about this yeah. because of the store and the, and the shirts and all the products that are sold here. Um, what, besides purchasing things here, what else can they do if they want to help the children and help you? Yeah, so honestly, um, it's all re it's it's financial resources mm -hmm. um, that we need primarily, and we can take any amount of money. <laughs> you know, people people want to know like, how do I take care of like two children a month? Like, mm -hmm. what what are we talking about? Yeah, so our average cost of care uh, is about fifteen dollars mm -hmm. per child. Mm -hmm. Severe malnourished children, it takes a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, we can we can literally reverse that mal malnutrition for a child that's on the brink of death uh, for about forty five dollars a month. Um, mm -hmm. Nothing. So you can you can reverse malnutrition. You can take a child from from a completely failing position into a thriving position health wise mm -hmm. uh, for about forty five dollars. And also too in this store, um, what portion of proceeds go? So all the profits from the shop go back out in the field. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is completely it. nonprofit. Uh, we have, I mean, it's a cool shop. We have products, we have mission partners all over the world yeah. that we, we purchase products for, from. Um, that our job creation for those people, wherever it might be, Ethiopia, mm -hmm. Nepal, India, Ghana, Liberia. Um, so that, that part's really cool too. So you purchase here, it impacts our projects, but our purchase from these partners out in the field, it, it helps them to feed their families. Um, yeah, this so would be a great there's, there's a lot of benefit to, to this place. So for those that don't know where you're located, mm -hmm. tell us where you are. Yeah, so our, our store is under the bridge, uh, downtown Cartersville, 24 East Church Street. Um, a lot of people know Appalachian Grill, so yep. three doors down from Appalachian Grill. Um, and you started this 15 right years downtown. ago. Yeah, we started uh, started this. The store came to be about four years ago, mm -hmm. um, but the mission began in 2008. Uh, so we started with a small group of kids uh, that we met on that trip, and uh, we've tried to remain faithful as God's presented new opportunities, to say yes to those opportunities and, and continue to move forward. And now it's 15 years later, feed about 1,350 kids every month. That's amazing. Every day. Um, That's amazing. And we have a fantastic school there with hundreds of kids. We have lots of kids on scholarship at the mm -hmm. university. Um, so 
there's a lot going on. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you directly mm -hmm. and say, raise their hand and say, I want to do something, how do they yeah. get a hold of you? Yeah, so uh, best way to do that is through the website, uh, live2540.org. Uh, and there's a contact button uh, in there where they can, uh, they can reach me. Um, so that's the best way. Uh, we're on Facebook, uh, Live2540. Uh, we're on IG, Live2540. So, thank you. Yeah, and thank you for being a partner and, and for doing this to help expose the work. Um, yeah, we're very grateful uh, for we're you, grateful and Wes. For you. And